So this Len character, he was the one putting the stuff down? Yes. They must have heard that Fred Caldwell had some in his shed and nicked it, I suppose. To kill foxes. Hmm. So how on earth did he manage to poison himself? Well, he wasn't exactly brain of Britain. And he never washed. That's right, never washed. Handled the poison, got some on his fingers, then onto his food. Well, you only need a small amount to kill you, don't you, Andrew? Yes, I believe so. So if he did it, I suppose the case is closed. The culprit becomes his own victim. That's right. Can't prosecute a dead man. So no charges then? No. Well, we could have charged Fred Caldwell, of course, for illegal possession. But we thought he'd been punished enough with the shock he had over Amanda. Not to mention what his daughter's going to say to him. Can't you just imagine <sighs> having met her? <laughs> well, I'm off. My stomach says supper time. Me too. I'm starving. Well, why break up the party? We could ask Gina to fix us up some sandwiches. Trisha? Oh, not for us, Jen. I've made a pasta. See ya. See ya. See ya. Uh, I'm off to watch the football. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Phil? And what about you, Andrew? Uh, better not. My wife will have cooked something. See ya. Bye, Andrew. Ta-ra! Looks like it's just you and me then, Jenny. Soup and sandwiches for two, please, Gina. Coming up.